This is the Unicoda 2 Max, a big name for an even bigger oven. And they didn't just increase the size here. The Coda 2 cooks way better than the OG model. Let's unbox this big boy and make some huge pizzas. The oven weighs over 95 pounds, so have an assistant nearby. There's a big hole in the box here, so hopefully it just hit some packing material and didn't damage anything. Inside, you'll find all the paperwork on top, with the coda tucked in like a baby. And, oh, there it is. That's a bad one. I think my FedEx guy headbutted it. The good news is that Uni is crazy good about making things right if something like this happens. They're really quick to send another on the way. The inside luckily is undamaged, so safety-wise, I think it'd be safe to use. Setup is easy, but the legs are not foldable like the portable ovens, so you'll have to flip the oven over in order to screw them in. While you have it flipped, secure the digital thermometer and plug in the probe cables. I immediately noticed how much thicker these stones are compared to their other ovens, 20 millimeters or just over three quarters inch. Compared to 15 millimeters in the original Coda, I missed this detail in the press release, so this is a nice surprise. And look at all this space. 24 inches wide by 20 inches deep means you can make a true New York style slice with room to spare. The dual burners operate independently, and with this much space inside, you can honestly cook a pan pizza on one side and a regular pizza on the other. But here's the huge difference maker. They changed the burner design to push a stronger flame towards the front of the oven. What this does is it evens out the heat inside the oven to reduce hot spots. I tested the preheat time in 5-minute intervals. Here's the results when using an infrared thermometer pointed at the center of the stone. It's not the fastest. But man, for the size of this oven, I'm really happy with this. The most impressive part is how accurate the digital thermometer is. I gotta say, this is the first pizza oven I'd actually launch a pizza based on the display temp. It also connects to the Uni app, so you can monitor the temp while prepping a pizza inside. I launched my first Neapolitan at 910 degrees Fahrenheit with the burner on high and cooked it for exactly 60 seconds. What a pizza for my first attempt. The bottom needed a few more seconds, so for my next, I'd increase the stone temp or lower the flame a hair. But I couldn't stick to the test plan. I tossed two pizzas in, kept the flame on medium slash medium high, and cooked for about 80 seconds. Just astounding results, and it was so easy. It's one thing for a pizza oven to be able to cook two pizzas, but to cook two pizzas with identical results? is very hard to do. Usually, one pizza is cooked closer to the flame and for a shorter time, not with the Coda 2. You cook them side by side with equal burners. By the way, hit me up with a subscribe if you can, and if you decide to go for this oven, feel free to use my affiliate link with the description below. I'll get credit for referring the sale, and it helps keep the channel going. Thanks a lot. Now, I just had to make a big one. I have very little practice launching 20-inch pizzas, so this will take a bit of work. I had a small rip in the center, but not enough to ruin things. Here's a hack I like to do for perfectly round pizzas. Use a screen for the first half of the bake. Once the dough sets up, and as long as your screen is seasoned, you can slide it off with another peel. Gently lift the edges of the pizza with a peel if it feels like it's sticking at all. Then, you can toss it right onto the stone to finish off the bake. The end result is a perfectly round pie, and you still get a crispy bottom since it finished directly on the stone. Guys, this is the real deal here, and it's only $1,000. I mean, yes, that's a lot of money, but what other oven in this price range offers this much? I'd still buy this if it cost even more. My kids live for New York-style pizzas. So I know this will be getting its fair share of use.